An upcoming event invites you to start your day being inspired and supporting mental health services in our community. Amy Kopasty with Vallejo Behavioral Health is here to tell us about the second annual Breakfast for Hope. It's the second year. We can call it annual now. Yes, we can. Welcome. Thank you for having me on today. What a beautiful day to be here. Oh, it's always a beautiful day. Always a beautiful day <laughs> when you are here with your bright smiling face and Vallejo is here to help our community. What is the Breakfast for Hope? What do you all have planned for the day? Well, first, before I forget, I want to thank Stormont Vale Health because because for the second year in a row, they have provided the funding for this event. So big shout out of thanks to them. Um, this is our second year. And in addition to having a wonderful keynote speaker, which we can talk about here in a minute, I want to say we're honoring you for all <laughs> of your amazing work in the mental health arena because you help us get the word out so much and spread the word about the importance of mental health. And we just appreciate you so much, Melissa. Well, it is a group effort, so I share that with all of us at WIBW-TV for doing that. The Hear Me, See Me project is part of that, raising awareness for mental health. But this is important for what Vallejo does in the community. What does an event like this allow you to do? Well, it allows us to fund unmet needs. So, for example, we've been on here many times uh, in the last two years talking about the Mobile Access Partnership. That is a program with a pop-up shower and hot food and clothing. Um, and all kinds of, you know, shoes and clothing and supplies for the unsheltered. And that is not something that is in our budget. We do not have a budget for that. There was a need for it. We saw the need and with our community partners, we rose up to meet that need. So an event like this helps us with programs like that. It's a vital, vital program. It's been so well received yes. and so much demand for it. I am interested to hear from your keynote speaker because it is Kendall Gammon, who was a player for the Kansas City Chiefs. He now hosts one of the pregame shows. How does he relate to an event like this? Well, it's, it's very uh, interesting um, that we were able to get him for the breakfast. We actually initially reached out to him for our annual Unmasking Stigma fundraiser, which is in the fall, mm -hmm. which you've always been a part of. But he just was not in our budget. And after we had to say, well, I'm sorry, we had to move on to someone else. We just couldn't afford you, Kendall. Um, he just very much uh, wanted to be part of our efforts because he so strongly believes in the importance of mental health. He's had his own mental health struggles in his life um, through his um, football career, which was very expansive. He was in a Super Bowl. He mm -hmm. played in a Super Bowl and he didn't. I don't think they won that year, but um, <laughs> anyway, um, so he has some personal stories to tell about his own mental health journey and why it's important. And um, he was able to do this at a price that we could afford. So we're very thankful. Because of his own generosity. Yes, so he's yes. kind of giving, giving back and paying it forward. When someone of that kind of a stature, a pro football player, a professional athlete, someone who's known in the community is willing to share your story, how important is that to really helping to shine a light on the importance of mental health? Well, it's so important because mental health, there's so much stigma that surrounds mental health. And it's something that, you know, people learn through their culture or through sometimes through religion, um, through the environment that they grow up in, that it's just not okay to talk about mental health issues. And so when you have someone stand up that was a you know professional football player and say, hey, I experienced that, I can relate to that, it opens the door for other people to be able to say safely, oh, I experienced that too, or oh, oh my goodness, you, you experienced that? Well, that's what I'm experiencing. Mm -hmm. So it's very powerful. Well, how can people hear from Kendall Gammon and support Vallejo at the Breakfast for Hope? Well, tickets are on sale, they're $60, um, and we do have reserved seating for a table of eight. Um, that is a different price. It is Friday, uh, May 3rd at the Beacon from eight to nine. We purposely keep it an hour so everybody can get back to work. <laughs> and uh, tickets are on sale through Give Butter. And I knew I wouldn't remember it, Melissa. So. GiveButter.com slash Vallejo Breakfast. And I'm gonna have the direct link online as well. But tickets just went on sale and we've just announced Kendall yes. Gammon as your featured speaker. So I'm excited. I'm excited, as always, to visit with you. We have a very special show with Amy coming up on Friday. So you'll want to see, because she's going to be back on Friday and kind of taking my job over. So yes. we will see you on Friday, Great. and we hope to see a lot of people at the Breakfast for Hope in May. Amy, thank you very much. Thank you. Three